Are you an anthropoids? We're like. <laughs> oh, from desire of nations mine, all peoples in one heart and mind, bid and be strife and quarrel cease, fill all the world with heaven's peace, rejoice. Christmas Eve to celebrate the miracle of Christ coming into the world, of God walking amongst us, of the birth of wonder, of a miracle of God's love shown for us all. It's so good to be here with all of you today. It's good to see many of you that I haven't seen in a while, and I know some of you have actually seen me many times as you watch me online. I'm not creeped out. <laughs> No, I'm so glad to see so many of you in person, and I know that there's many more, many more who are watching from home. It's good to have all of you here as a part of this time of worship together. I do have a couple of announcements, two announcements that I, I need to share. First, there's these beautiful flowers up here. Some call them poinsettias. Some call them poinsettias. I call them flowers. <laughs> If one of these, if you have flowers that are in memory or in honor of someone, you need to pick them up at the end of the service today. Don't pick them up during the service, it'll be distracting. But after the service is over, you can come up and get the flowers. But, here's the rule. Do not come on up here and just grab a flower and run. Arlene and her, her crew are going to be up here and they will bring the flowers to you. So they will manage it. If you try to come up the stairs and grab a poinsettia, she will tackle you. I've seen her do it. It's not pretty. Um, so that's the first. The second, for almost, for let's see, at least 180 years, we've been having candlelight services on Christmas Eve. And we have not burned out the church yet. Tonight is not going to be the night. When we do our candlelight, you all remember how, those of you who've been here before, you remember how to do this. The lit candle stays straight. Do not tip the lit, lit candle. What happens when you tip a lit candle? Wax starts melting down and then it falls on your hand and you go, ow! Oh! And then you drop the lit candle, it falls on the hymnal. These hymnals are at least 180 years old. They'll go up like that. And then we have a disaster. There are fire extinguishers back there. No, keep your lit candle straight. The unlit candle, you bring towards the lit candle until it lights and then bring it back. Do you all need to practice this once? <laughs> Yeah, good, I see some people trying. Okay. Just, you know, use caution. Use your best judgment. This is a service of joy. It's a service of celebration. It's also a service of mystery. A service of wonder. May the mystery, the wonder, the joy, the celebration of the birth of Christ be known in this time and beyond as we anticipate and celebrate His birth his presence in the world. Will you join me in the call to worship as it's found in the bulletin? Tonight, old dreams die and new dreams come to life. The promise is fulfilled. The Lord is God Christ, and on earth peace. Hope gives way to joy and prayer to proclamation. The Lord is God Christ, and on earth peace. Our candles illuminate our story. Dawn invades midnight. The light of the world has come. The Lord is God of life and of earth peace. And this light is a light for all, igniting a flame within the soul, warming us from within, radiant, radiating love, lighting our lives with the presence of God come alive in human flesh within us and among us, now and always. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill to all. As we listen to the prelude, I offer you this thought from the author, Laura Inglis Wilder. 
Our hearts grow tender with childhood memories and love of kindred, and we are better throughout the year for having, in spirit, become a child again at Christmas time. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. I invite all who are here to stand as you are able and all to join in singing 173, O Come All You Faithful, verses 1 and 3.
God, hear these words of the, of the theologian Dietrich Bonhoeffer as we all pray to you. Who among us will celebrate Christmas right? Those who finally lay down all power, honor, and prestige. All their vanity, pride, and self will at the manger. Those who stand by the lowly and let God alone be exalted. Those who see in the child the manger, the glory of God, precisely in this lowliness. Those who say along with Mary, the Lord has regarded my low estate. My soul magnifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Lord, with such a spirit, may we be in worship. Amen. Gospel of Luke. And we start with Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 3, of setting up the stage of going to Jerusalem. In those days, a decree went out from the Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration, and it was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their towns to be registered. As we prepare to light the Advent candle, our time of wait is over. Christmas is here. Our days of preparation are completed. What has not been done will now have to be left undone. We have witnessed to this very hour, this very night, and we have hope that the world has heard the good news which we have spoken. We have decided to let it be, to do things God's way rather than our own and to be satisfied with God's will. As I, light the Advent can as I light the four candles and then the Christ candle, I invite you to stay say out loud those ways that you celebrate the birth of Christ. Will you join me in the unison prayer? Our circle ab and candles is lit. Now tonight with the central candle, we are reminded that Christ is the light of the world, the center of our lives, the shining beacon of hope for all the universe. Christ is born. Praise God. Story. Note that 
very thing we are so anticipating happened so early in the story and happened so quickly. So let us really listen for that moment when the miracle of God being amongst us happens in Scripture. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and for who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, wrapped him in man's cloth, laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the end. Let that mystery sit on your heart. I invite all of you to stand as you were able and join in singing hymn 150, What Child Is This? Verses 1 and 2. We gather here to remind ourselves of the miracle of the birth of Christ. But at the miracle, we should not keep to ourselves that God walks amongst us, is amongst us, loves us, is something we need to share with the world. We offer our tithes and our offerings so that the love and the miracle of the birth of Christ may be seen and known by the world. I invite the ushers to come forward at this time.
And one of the wonderful things about the shepherds is the shepherds are not these educated people, this priestly class. The shepherds are people like you and me. Imagine yourself with the shepherds. Imagine yourself there when the angel and the hosts appear. How would you react? How would you respond to such a sight of glory? In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in the manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace among those whom he favors. Let us hear that song of the angels as we join in singing. I invite you to stand again. I know you just, you just sat down. But let's stand as we are able. Join in singing 152, Angels We Have Heard on High, verses 1 and 2. into a time of prayer, there are a couple of prayer concerns I would like to lift up. Uh, one is, I neglected to mention last Sunday, Erin Green and her family, about a week ago, this past Sunday, her mother passed away and she had been wrestling with Alzheimer's for some time. To continue to keep Erin and just the whole family in prayers during this time of grief. Continue to keep the Blinkhorns in prayer. Uh, John Blinkhorn died. About a week ago, we had a service this past week, and that grief is still very fresh and very, very raw. So continue to please keep all of them in prayers. Um, I also got a note from Shelly Archibald, Archibald that at her work, a number of people have been tested positive with COVID and they had to shut their work down to so keep them all in prayers. I'd like to lift up all of those who are wrestling with the chaos that COVID brings in various ways. It continues to be a very real thing in our lives. And I know as people are planning get-togethers, it throws wrenches into plans again and again. I mean, especially those who are vulnerable and really wrestling with this, with this virus. I also want to lift up all of those for whom this time of year 
can be very difficult because of people that they've lost recently or people they've lost years and years ago. This time of year, that grief of a loss can become very real. And we think of our mothers and fathers, of our children, of our siblings, of our friends, of those that we miss so dearly. And we lift up in prayers those who live with this grief and for whom this is a time of celebration, but also a time of real pain. And pray that the peace of Christ will fall upon their hearts. I know there are other prayer concerns and celebrations. Today I'm not going to ask for them, but just ask that you lift them up in your own heart and offer them to God. During this prayer, I'm going to start with something written by uh, uh, theologian John Wallace Souter, and then continue with my own prayer. Let's join our hearts and minds in prayer. Send, O God, into the darkness of this troubled world the light of your Son. Let the star of your hope touch the minds of all people with the bright beams of mercy and truth. And so direct our steps that we may always walk in the way revealed to us. As the shepherds of Bethlehem walked with joy to the manger where he dwelt, who now and ever reigns in our heart, Jesus Christ our Lord. God, may we find moments in our celebration to be still and to reflect on what it means for you to be born. May we have moments in the rushing to get those last things done, to stop and to think about how much we need you in our lives. May we have moments when we see people we haven't seen for months or years and we go forward for an embrace to hold a little longer and to realize what it means to be able to see each other face to face. May we have those moments over the phone, through the computer, or however we can connect to recognize how your love brings us together in ways that we may not be able to. May we find moments, Lord, in this night as we crunch through the snow, as we allow the stillness of the cold to fall around us, to see where Christ is born. In that home where there is grief, in that place where people are hungry, in amongst those who do not have a warm place to sleep, with the refugees and those who have been cast from place to place, with those who fear and worry and aren't sure about tomorrow, with those who wrestle with illness, with each one of us, where we are, in the honesty and authenticity of what we need. God, help us to pause and to see where it is that you are born. And then to move towards that place and to embrace that light and to let that hope shine fully into our lives and to lift us up in ways we cannot anticipate or expect and to bring the fullness of the joy of your birth, of the redemption of the life that we find in you fall fully upon us. May we celebrate your birth. We pray this in all things, in your name, praying as we have been taught, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not to temptation, Deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. We have some special music from Peter.
As we continue the, thank you, Peter. As we continue the Christmas story, we now go with the shepherds. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste, and they found Mary and Joseph, and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it was amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. Now, which are, yes. Now, for the last two years, I have brought to you a carefully crafted and constructed Christmas message that was interrupted by an angel. And so this year, I decided no more. And instead of putting together something that would only be interrupted again, I thought it would be best to invite the angel just to come and speak. <laughs> So without further ado, I'd like to invite Angelicus Interruptus to come and share whatever message it is you might have to offer all of us at this time. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. I mean, I didn't really interrupt, did I? I, I just... You did. Yeah, you definitely did. Oh, well... Um, it's okay. It was, it was for the benefit of all of you, really. You're welcome. <laughs> That's a nice pen. Thank you. Yeah, I, I stole it off of some guy's desk. Nicodemus, was it? He wasn't using it. I don't think Nicodemus hasn't written anything for about 2,000 years, so I think you're good. Yeah, it was kind of dusty. I was wondering why. But, um, you know, it's doing, it's doing the job. If, I'll, just, I'll just be real quick. There's just some things I have to do. Um, I'm a little bit backlogged okay. around the end of the year, this so is, I have to. Um, this is your time. Wonderful, excellent. What do you need to do? This is great. I'm going to get everything done. By a show of hands, who has all of their gifts wrapped? Okay, excellent. Excellent. Okay, that's good. Uh, made the cookies and milk for Santa. Oh, okay, great. Um, all buck matching pajama sets. <laughs> right. so, okay. All right, I need some end of the year stuff now. Um, set your resolutions for the coming year. <laughs> uh, found your workout clothes. <laughs> uh, took the clothes off the treadmill in the basement. <laughs> This is a terrible numbers. Shopped for healthy foods. You take this for a second? What is this? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jesus. Happy birthday to you. But we're going to celebrate, right? Right. It's Jesus' birthday, exact, isn't it? It's Jesus' birthday, so I got this hat. Right, time to celebrate a birthday. You got all these things. How much do you have? Four is coming to a close. These numbers are whole. Oh, wait a second. For next I've got year. also. It's downward but it's a birthday. This is terrible. Oh, we got to celebrate. It's Jesus' birthday. It's Jesus' birthday. I brought his decorations, a hat. I even had, you can have one of these. Oh, my goodness. What do we do with these? Make noise and. And you love this. Oh, I like this. That's fun. I made cake for Jesus. Okay. Yeah, because it's his birthday. We have some cake. Yeah, great. Oh, you like this cake? What kind of cake? You want to? You want to know what kind of cake this is? What kind of cake is it? Angel food cake. <laughs> I personally think that that is the this, best kind of cake. It, <laughs> it is by far the best kind of cake. You have nothing on there about celebrating Jesus' birthday? No, there's just so much to do. It's the end of the year. All of so, these things are coming up. I have to do 
all these numbers? And no! We've got to celebrate! This is why everyone's here! For his birthday to celebrate, to be rejoicing, to be well, happy! Well, what kind of things actually go into a birthday? We'll have a party! A party? Oh, and all the kind of games, except two. I won't allow. Oh. No pin the tail on the donkey, no pinatas. Cruelty to animals. <laughs> Not okay. Yeah. Everything else, though, is good. We're going to have all the games, we're going to have all the fun. It's going to be fantastic celebrating. Why don't you have that on there? But if this is a birthday party, don't we need gifts? Yes. Yes, we need gifts. What kind of gifts would even be fit for a king? So that's where I'm... Let's think about this. This isn't any normal kid, right? No. We can't just get a... You know, a toy or something. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. They died. Yeah. Right. Dinosaurs are gone. Spoiler. <laughs> and even if they... I mean, this is God. Who comes and, and is amongst us. Like, God... It's something really special for Something God. really... Yeah. It's kind of amazing when you it think is. about it. That, that Ashley's birthday was celebrating. I know. Okay, good. How wide is the street up there? Can it accommodate like five elephants? Like shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> because, oh, listen, hear me out. Because if like, if we do a parade, right? A parade? With elephants? Sure, yeah, with five elephants. In December. At least, in December. Because they're indigenous to this area. Exactly. And they and love just, the climate. Right, right. I know. In it December. would be perfect. And then that way we can have a really big parade and we can show that all of our appreciation at once in a really grand gesture. Elephants. Yes. What do you think? Uh, why not add roller skates? Yep. On the elephants? Well, underneath. Oh, okay. Put a roller skate on an elephant and it just oh, kind of So it would be easier to just like just push, push the elephants along the street. Just down into the bay. That's really efficient, <laughs> actually. I don't think that, I don't think that's it. Don't write that down. Why not? Because it's, it, that's not it. It's got to be something else. Something that God wants. I know. Elephants and monkeys. Uh, I'm tempted with the monkey vision. But I don't think that's it. That's not it, Evan? Hmm. God loves us, right? And that's part of the message you bring every year when you interrupt me. Right. Right. God loves us. So maybe if we love each other, it seems basic, but maybe that's what we do, right? If we're nice to each other, if we give each other gifts, if we express how much we love each other because God loves people, what do you think? No. Or, oh, maybe, or maybe. To go a little further. What if we love those people who don't even know it? Or we do things for others without them knowing it, without them seeing it, without having to get a thank you. I think that's a gift. You know, I think he would really appreciate that. Oh. Yeah, that is a good idea. Is that? So yeah, and we still have cake. We also still have cake. The best cake, angel food cake. So let's do that. You yep. got that in your family. Yep, I do. No monkeys, no elephants. No but elephants, no monkeys. Be nice to each other. Be nice. <laughs> Love each other. Love each other. And I think also, sing happy birthday. Exactly. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jesus. Thank you very much. Interrupt me. Interrupt her. Let's continue with the celebration and join with the singing of the angels. I invite you to stand as you are able and join in singing 171. Hark the Herald Angels Sing, verses 1 and 3.
We have heard the Christmas story as told through the Gospel of Luke. But we return again to the depth of the mystery of that story from the Gospel of John. The beginning of the Gospel of John resonates with the beginning of Genesis. Genesis starts in the beginning. The world, God made the heavens and the earth. John starts in the beginning. And we are reminded that with creation, God spoke, and with the birth of Christ, God speaks again and speaks love into the world. Let us hear of this love as we listen to this reading from the Gospel of John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him, and without Him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in Him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it.
The devotion and the love that we heard in that song was amazing. Thank you from all of us. The early Christians would have heard it. In a fein, a fein, hologos. Hologos hos tostios. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was God. And the Word was with God. The light has come into the world. Let us prepare to receive and to share the light with the world. Let us, let us stand as we receive and share the light and sing silent night. is born. The light has come into the world. Let us celebrate the mystery and the love revealed to us holy. Christ is born. Joy to the world.
full of the joy of Christmas, celebrating and proclaiming that Christ is born. Hallelujah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.